front lines. So what in this uh, decide what Watsila says is that if you draw this line and shave all these peaks, that's why it's called peak shape, you shave them. And these peaks are taken by the veterans. That is how it is designed. That's why it's the main main function of those batteries in the battery room is peak shaving. And this peak shaving they say you will uh, save 5 to 20, 15, up to 15 percent of work. But this ship only uh, uses when you are running at uh, high speed, uh, full speed, only 6 tons of diesel a day with 5,000 tons of cargo removed. So it has actually uh, energy saving system, power management system. Uh, these all these are all incorporated energy management system. These are all incorporated in, in one one uh, control system. You have batteries for this one, and the power management, and also the energy management. This is coming here. And the ship can be operated on all these modes. You have operation modes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you want to change, then this ship does not have this big wheel and everything. This is all joysticks. Just all small, small levers. So if you put it to diesel mode, what will happen? Your main engine is running, main engine clutch. Uh, both clutch, I told you there are two clutches, they are both on and char charge generator is running, right? If you put to genset mode, main engine is running, but the propeller is disconnected, charge generator is running. If you put it to PTI mode, main engine clutch is off, propeller clutch is on, charge generator is running, this active front is is the in the mechanism that converts AC to DC and DC to AC. This active front is, is actually a rectifier bridge which converts AC to DC and DC to AC in both ways. And when you want a booster mode, when you want a high power on the propeller, you can use the sharp generator to boost the propeller. And then finally the harbor motor, my mode, it's only the generators run. So this, the thing that I took pictures uh, at the uh, sea track. You see here, you see the battery pack feeding, there is a DC bus bar here. And it is, the bow thruster is connected to DC bus bar. This is your sharp, uh, this is GM actually, generator motor here. This is the main engine, this is the propeller, <coughs> right? And you have a clutch here and clutch here. You can disconnect this clutch if you want, you can disconnect this clutch if you want. So it's very flexible and these batteries can be charged from the charge generator or through the diesel generator. You can set the rate of charge here Normally we set it to 20 to 80 percent because uh, the battery maker says that you should not charge the batteries more than 80 percent. So we set it to 20. When it comes to 20, the, the generator will start and charge the batteries. When it comes to 80, generator will stop. This is your power management system and then you have a DC bus and through this active front, there is one here one here for the show supply, it can import power as well and it is not meant to export power but still can if you want but this, this battery pack is very small. So this is another uh, active front here and one here. The, the beauty of this active front is that you can put the power this way and this way, AC, DC, DC, AC. And these are the two generators and this is the harbor generator. 
right? So this is Harbour Mode. Now you see Harbour Mode. You have only battery. Uh, this this one is feeding here to the propeller, and generators only run. So power is fed from the AC bus to the DC bus, and it's also charging the batteries. And it can run with this power, battery power, it will run the charge generator. Uh, this will run as a motor and then can turn the propeller if you put this clutch on. This is diesel mode. Battery pack is feeding now. Charge generator is feeding as well. Propeller is clutch on. Main engine is running. So these are the operational modes. This is the booster mode. Right? You need more power. This this will act as a motor now to give more power to the to the problem. And all this time the batteries are getting charged. So this, this arrow indicates now it's supplying to the DC bus, right? And also it's supplying to the hotel load through this active front. See? Right, this is the VTI mode. The main engine is out, not using. The power is supplied through the batteries and also from the generators. Depending on the power demand, it is through this active front, this motor turns the fuel prop. Right. This is a genset mode. So these are actually very flexible. With these uh, two clutches here, you can play around. You can use your battery. You can uh, set it to use the battery as much as you want and reducing the running of the generators and then you can use the sharp generator and the batteries to power your hotel load as well. Right, this is the bridge. I took it from my uh, phone but it's not very... I blew the weave here. So these are the controls. See, no, no steering wheel, nothing. <coughs> Engine control room you have? Here, here, this one. He's touching the, this is both of us. No, no, engine, you have only control. No, no, you have the same. Here you can, uh, this one is for the engine. You can set all this, uh, the modes that I showed you from here. Right, this is how the Europe is very compact. This is the this is the sharp generator here. This is the gearbox. Here is the main engine. It's you cannot see this one. So that's the end. Any questions? Any question? No, no. Don't ask anything that I don't know. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, especially from our chief engineers? So on this cutting system, we have two classes. Yeah. So with at C, how is it an auto mode or in the battery it requires an automatic cutting clutch or? You can select any clutch. You can manually select. Right? Yeah, manually select which which mode you want to run so from here. At like the battery mode or motor mode? Or? Yes.
has the, the liberty to select this one okay. from the bridge. Now the chief here can also do from the here. This bridge. You can select which one you want. No question? I don't have a picture to show you, but it's uh, small. Right. But there is a control room, but there is only one TV, yeah? Of course. No, one, only one. That's it. Only one engine. engine. Yes, that's it. One engine. TV. That's no more for engine. No electrician. No electrician. Only chief engineer for the engine room. Next you have master, uh, chief officer, and three ABs. And uh, one AB is AB plus four. GP. The GP, not GP. No GP, he is not GP. Not GP. He is uh, AB Kung Fuk. That's how he goes. He has a good service. What is the reliability of these uh, equipment? Because uh, ultimately, <coughs> as a parent staff, that so many things are coming in the IMO regulations and rules and regulations. Good, good question. Now, it's the it's going to be a problem. I felt very sorry for that TV. <laughs> Every time I do something, I call him, he's a Russian guy, I call him and I show him everything. Because he was, when he came on board, he was lost with all these controls. That's why the young generation, our, our maritime syllabuses need to be upgraded now. He was actually, where the first, first week he was lost with all these uh, you know, joysticks and this uh, clutching, but uh, at this port, that port. No, as long as they are working, it's good. It's yes, but that, that is the problem. So, but uh, now, but the beauty of this one is that uh, Vatsila can remotely lock off. They have a contract with the, the owner. They can lock on to this uh, system. Because IMO doesn't think about, like, I don't know whether you have seen the movie, Ali, that uh, human factor, they don't bring it to this equation. No. That's no, why I, 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 I felt very sorry for the chief engineer because there's so much of control, so much of electronic, and there's only one guy. Yes, he has to depend on the Watsila heavy. Of course, as you said, the ship, as long as it is new, it will run for some time, but when the problem starts, then, uh, but they have spare cabin actually. But even the the present day electricians or, or electrical engineer, whatever you may call it, I don't think they are able to handle this. Yeah, what about no, the holes? Normally, these are small engines, so so I think they will contract a bit to Watsila and Watsila. But the problem is, the, the the guys who are going on board, especially the engineers, they need the additional training on. She's a high pitched, uh, highly sophisticated ship. Yeah. But even normal day to day running ships now. They, they also have a lot of technology. Lot of te yeah, yes. lot of, and uh, training staff is the same. IMO has not increased the manpower. No. Not, not only training. manpower, not only manpower, all the syllabus have to be, to be upgraded <coughs> to introduce these technologies. See, that's why I said I felt very sorry. I have been next AP engineer. I was imagining I put myself in, <laughs> <laughs> right? So I, I, every time when I do some testing, I, I specially call this guy. Say, chief, this is this, this is this, because the first uh, two three weeks he was completely locked. I can see from his, his face and expressions that. Uh, so on the final day when the ship was telling guys. Told him good luck, chief. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think he did a uh, very good job, and he's coming to deliver the second vessel. That's what the owner told him. But in any case, without electrician, because the, these are it, that's why I say the, even the existing uh, electricians we have will not be able to do this. 
So we need a complete change uh, to run this. Thing. I think the village job is easy. I just remove one plug and put another plug in. No, if you remove uh, one plug, the ship will stop. <laughs> 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 After that, you don't know which plug to connect. <laughs> this, this is the problem. I think it's not allowed to do that because probably they have no, 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 no. They, uh, they actually they, they, they have the Vatsila remote uh, login mm -hmm. all to all this uh, essential system. I think so you can't. Is, uh, is oh, yeah, they can like trade ships. Right? No, they, they, they are. They are going between the European border, so they have uh, access. To all this but these ships will will be. Like this for for, for international trade as well. So that's why I said uh, it's high time that the IMO has to modify all the syllabuses for the young people. Yep. And IMO has to think about the human factor yes. because uh, I don't know how far this will go on like this. Ultimately, it will come to crash shop. Yeah, I agree because the the Norwegian flag uh, gave the same man like this. <laughs> <laughs> so you nobody can challenge. Yes. When the flag gives you that's the that's safe manning, yeah. safe manning is not given by the class. No. It's given by the flag. It's a vicious cycle. Okay. Yes. So once the safe manning is given, I cannot say, how can you run this safe vessel with one GB? I have no power to say that. Because the safe manning is coming from the flag. It's not safe, safe minimum manning, that is minimum safe. Minimum safe. And also, like now, actually, like now, now you spoke about the batteries. Now we are compromising to, to make batteries and to do all that. We are putting energy that that's what you showed the circle to increase their pollution side more to reduce one one side. No? So basically it's a it's a vicious cycle. We are putting from one to another. So what I, actually the Vaxila has done? They have used the smallest engines to reduce the fuel, burning fuel, and then supplement them with, with the batteries. Yeah, the thing is, when you produce batteries, batteries. people don't look at that part, you see? What it is for how, what kind of pollution that they explain in what pollution? No, 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 this battery makers, I asked him specially, he said they are recycling this. These, these batteries are from nowhere. Not only recycling, but also like now the for the battery manufacturing, that resources are very limited. Yes, so no, because this is, a, this is lithium ion. We have a very limited resources as lithium in the world. So when you start making batteries and putting it on board, you will run out of lithium. Then, then we will have to come up with another so basically another we have, we have From that circle, we are putting from one to another. Yeah, because these are all, uh, that's why I said, uh, nothing is certain. These are all on uncertain certain yes nothing is certain like like the scrubber they put the scrubber now scrubber is useless <laughs> now scrubbers are useless right because yeah. scrubbers were driven by one sector they said now you need to have a scrubber otherwise you know they have a lot of percentage in those days the scrubber scrubber guys came and they say you need to pick this one otherwise your ship will not run but what happens now now low sulfur fuel is everywhere. This scrubber is only a showpiece. Mm -hmm. And then it's a burden on the ship people because still you have to maintain it. So there was what is the way the return on investment? They spend money for nothing. Yeah, so market is driven. Yes, it was the, the market uh, driven thing. But uh, these things will come anyway, right? But we need to we need to prepare the crew for this. Otherwise, we will have a problem because if they start breaking down at sea, then the ship owners are in, in, in trouble yeah. as well. The thing is, this testing, are they really done? Or like, like the diesel gate, but with the four socket? Is it something like similar to that or is it really practically? No, no, they are all tested. They all come with, uh, normally we do the fat test and then we do the full Running, running. And this peak shaving, actually we went uh, to test the peak shaving, mm -hmm. we went three times uh, sea trap. Because <laughs> it's not, is it the amount of power changes by the propeller or is it just due to sign of it, 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 it's 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 anyway from the propeller, whatever it is uh, created from the propeller or as well, uh, this high peaks is taken uh, out by the battery. 
So the owner, because what Sira promised owner, that you will have 15% something for your saving from this one. So he wanted to see this. So they, they showed it by taking the Sita zigzag, by waving the road, and then calculating the world, and then he was, he was happy. In your presentation, you will check for you about two point five percent Maybe it has reached now. Yeah. yeah. So that is that two point five percent. So that is by human reading or the part. Is that anything included? Or? No, no, two, two, this this two point seven to three is only from the shipping emission, right? Yes. Yeah. The rest emission is all from uh, from the show base people. Okay, from the transportation. From uh, the energy sector. How? Is it the machinery or the human uh, activity? No, 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 not human activity, okay. only for the industry and the energy sector. Mainly from this 60% is coming from transportation, energy, and the industry. And then because they take more than 30 percent Even this methane and emission is mainly from agriculture. Yes. Any further questions? I have a general question. That is, uh, in order to reduce this uh, uh, greenhouse <coughs> gases, uh, what uh, practicability of uh, nuclear option? On ships? Yes. Yeah, pretty dangerous. Then where do you get the people to run those reactors? <laughs> no, no, the cost is also high, <laughs> but it will yeah. not happen on my ships. That's why they are not even talking about the nuclear program. Warships, yes. They have trained staff and they, it's, a, <laughs> uh, it's a game, it's a war, so it's okay. But for merchant ship, it's not a, not a I don't think it will ever become so. But it's the main factor the cost. Cost and, and the, the people. Safety and uh, where do you get, how do you train the people now? You have to have a complete uh, ship to train the people. We, we, we don't even have trained people for to run these ships. So that's why I said, uh, as Kodaka said, the IMO is not uh, taking active interest in the uh, human element factor. This, uh, in any way, the IMO is also ship owners club, no? IMO is uh, basically the bonus club. If Panama flags are, say something to IMO, they will do it. Yes? <laughs> this is the problem. So, I, I feel that uh, to, 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 I have seen uh, with these people, uh, even the first master who came that to take over the vessel, he left. No, no, he was not prepared to take the vessel. They brought in another time. So, I think uh, our, our maritime syllabus has to be updated totally. What, uh, they are still teaching the basics uh, in maritime. Saman, how about the charter's point of view when charter parties, this kind of thing, like, you know, one person? Uh, they, 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 they have charter from uh, Indonesia, they carry code straight to Rome. Charter is only worried about the, the certificates and if uh, the planning certificate is given then all the other certificates are there, insurance cover is there, it's okay. When it's a brand new ship, they had the first char charter just after we delivered the vessel. She went to Indonesia and uh, loaded charcoal in bags. What are the tonnage? 5,000. They loaded and they went and then the owner, uh, they had this something called, uh, the Christian, Christian ships or something? Christian, Christian, Christian. Christian or something. They did it uh, to the ship. And the owner told me, uh, because uh, his uh, company managing director, he is the president of uh, Norwegian ship owner company. So they, they, you guys wanted to pay him more and buy the ship. On the, <laughs> the day that they were doing it. Yeah. 
But the, the cost of this vessel is only 9.35 million. Yes. yes. And for a day, two weapon company? Six tons. Six tons of cargo. Cargo. <coughs> so this 9.35 million is very, very uh, 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 I For EDI, the Norwegian government gave him uh, money, right? And uh, I think he will earn his money in six months, this 9.35. And he got something, this EDI, he was very, very concerned on this EDI. Actually, he wanted the, uh, the certificate, of, normally we don't give because we have to calculate and see uh, the EDI value. Because if you put the more value, then it's a disadvantage on, on the, on the shipboard. So, but he insisted that he wanted it uh, on, with the delivery certificate. So we worked until 24 hours to prepare the certificate and the next day to give it to him. He got money from the Norwegian government. In this part of the world, there is nothing, no incentive like that. But there are, and I have seen some uh, pictures uh, when they were having that function. In the boat, that boat I in burger something. You can see the bottom in the boat. That's how clean. So they are very much concerned on, on this thing. And now he was asking me whether he can uh, you know build his site and spoil the rest. I said we have experts in the in DNV because DNV does a lot of uh, research and development on this, this uh, environment. So these they are the people who, who you know they want to protect the environment. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I think DMV should be in this one to have a separate team to have the human factor to get the people on board. We'll avoid you. We'll avoid you when I know for the human factor. So, no, the thing is, uh, this this all actually has to be addressed by the plans, right? See, so, this is a brand new vessel. Now, if you go to this junk bulk carrier, the flag will give you uh, minimum safe value for 10 people. The ship owner is still running. They are, they are all in the same circle, no? Yes. Ship owner, flag, and the class, yeah. they are all in the same circle. No, no, no. Class is nothing to do with the, <laughs> with the same flag. <laughs> class, has nothing, class has nothing to do with the same flag. Once the, once the same flag. Yeah, okay. PhD, PhD is about. Away from the circuit. No, see, you will be in a class, sir. <laughs> you are in a class, sir. Right? Yeah. Why did you challenge the flag that time? No, no. Back, uh, class has nothing to do with the uh, same man. But only thing is, more, like I'll tell you. Now, I have seen, you have seen this one, no? When we go for ISM audits, we see the people are tired. But when you ask the people, did they tell you that they are tired? No. No sir, we are not tired, we are all okay. So we can't even put a deficiency. This human factor is also on the people who are serving on board because they are like That is because it's all, 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 sir. No, no. See, there is only, only one guy I met in my lifetime who told me actually during an MNC audit, we cannot stay on this. I cannot stay on it. I want you to report this to Frank, which I did, right? And there was a big uh, this thing, and the uh, EMB said you withdraw the MLD certificate. It happened in Colombo. But that was the only case. But we have, uh, uh, Lal knows very well, we have uh, quite a few ships running between Chittagong and Colombo. Colombo, Chittagong. They cannot maintain the rest of us, but they, the, 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 the forms record very clean. <laughs> Everybody is rested. Nice. And when you ask him, uh, is this true or false? You say, no, sir, we will be okay, we will be okay, no problem. So what do you do then as a plan? You can't, even the PSC comes. Even if they ask you, have you been rested, uh, they, they have given you rest? Yes, sir, you are okay, no problem on this ship. But actually, problems everywhere. So this, this is only, not only the flag. Not, not only the flag. The, the people on board also have a, a duty to, to say, okay. And I met another uh, Ukrainian master who raised a deficiency against his, his own company. 
<laughs> the smart guy, right? He told me, I see, when I went for the audit, he said, I raised uh, this debit. Lack of people on board. I need two cadets. <laughs> right? But a uh, week after, he got two cadets. But I don't know whether he was re employed again. <laughs> But he did what he is supposed to do. The only problem is people are not uh, doing anything on board as well. They just they are afraid uh, that they might lose their job. The company might not take. And that is because the, as a entire <coughs> body, we don't have a proper union. No? Yeah. <coughs> so if, even if you have a union, once you go on board, right? When you are working for a, a, a shipboard outside, right? Forget about the union, we are not getting enough support from the flag as the Sri Lankan <coughs> administrate, right? If something happens, what they do? Nothing. There were, uh, <coughs> Darshan was uh, in captivity, yes? It's because the company that we work for is very good. So they, they got paid the money and got, got the, the ship released. But uh, there was uh, this Dushanta Seneca. How, how long he was in captivity? Six months. Six months. So this is the problem with the CPR. <coughs> if you are working for a good company, you are all right. But uh, you, you're working for this anti banky companies, good places. That's why we decided to not to say it again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you uh, big hand for Mr. So, uh, to wrap up uh, uh, proceedings after the vote of thanks, we had a little bit of refreshment in the room. Uh, everybody can't go in at the same time. Please go in, take your packet and your drink. And once you finish, put there is a room over there. Some garbage cans, make sure you bring the garbage, mingle with the seniors, uh, engineers, questions, and all that, and whatever you like. Let me call upon our wives. Our vice chairman to do the vote of thanks. You want, you can just sit up and don't stand up for one minute and sit down. You have to sit for a long time. I feel very comfortable after that. Anyway, I've been given this task to be a word of thanks. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I asked the uh, king whether is it okay to thank myself? He has given me permission. So I'm thanking myself for everything that happened here today. So I've done everything today, as you know. Not only this, he has done a lot of charity in Sri Lanka. To pass, go to uh, Trinity College, second best school in the world, you know, in Sri Lanka. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to go to. Which one is first? Which one is first? Royal. Royal. You can go. You can go. I knew it was coming. The real experience came to the education of the Royals. You have done a lot of. Jam, with uh, my three members, he has been frustrated, nobody was supporting him, and he has done actually a lot of uh, work uh, on his own, organizing him, arranging him, students and his, his uh, colleges, so <coughs> arranging food, every 
living at that. Again, uh, to all the students from all the schools, colleges. So thank you very much for attending. And all my friends here, and Kavi, my senior, all you are, thank you very much for coming here. And last, but first. Again, I thank myself for <laughs> teaching him everything I want to say here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Saman. It is small. So, Saman, we want to give, you taught us on what energy efficiency. We want to give you a zero emission gift. So, please open it. So, So zero emission is whiskey, no?